Yamaha has been on a product tier over the past few years. The FZ07, 09, and minus 10 hyper naked sport bikes are fantastic, and the subleader FZs are a screaming value to boot. The Tuning Fork brand is gunning for Harley with its humongous Star Venture, a full dress tour that combines Japanese refinement with a stock in huge V twin. The latest version of its vaunted R1 race replica consistently wins raves from the motorcycle press. And now, well, there's the Nikon. Two wheels up front and one in the rear isn't exactly a new idea. Can M Spiders offer an open air experience for those who, for whatever reason, would rather not be as tried a two wheeler? The Morgan three wheeler is an archaic hoot. And Piaggio has been building its MP3 line of scooters for over a decade now. It's this last machine that the Nikon most closely resembles. The Piaggio and the Yamaha differ from other three-wheelers by employing a front suspension setup that allows a three-wheeler to lean like a bona fide motorcycle while offering reassuring, tripod-like stability as well as a larger front contact patch. Where the Nikon splits from the MP3 is in the realm of performance. While the scooter makes for a citified runabout, Though we know a couple of guys who shelved their BMW GS adventure bikes for a summer and took a pair of MP3s cross country, the Nikon's heart is pulled from the FZ09. It's an excellent 847cc liquid cool triple that put 105 horsepower to the rear wheel on the Cycle World Dyno last year. We don't expect the Nikon to best the FZ sub 11.0 second quarter mile time due to additional weight and frontal area but the thing still should be a veritable ripper. We hesitate to pigeonhole Yamaha's new invention, but lower body injuries have a way of taking riders off the bike unwillingly. And at that point, being able to be out in the air, moving through space and time, becomes paramount over any perceived aesthetic and dignity. We don't know that the Nikon will carve out a new segment for three-wheeled sport bikes, as in, we're not sure Honda and Ducati will follow them into the trike breach, but we're glad it exists. Yamaha has been thin on details, but we will apparently see it in America, and we might find used spiders and Harley triglides going for fire sale prices now that ladies and gents opting for or needing three-wheelers have an option that gives them their lean back. Phones, Babylon's came